Hello and welcome to my channel. For this video today, I'm just going to be basically showing you some of my random drawings I've made um, throughout March and April. Just two of them. Two of them that I was relatively okay with, but definitely wanted to work more on and just wanted to talk more about those. So for this first one, I wanted to make a guy character. I'm rarely ever known for drawing guys, so I really just wanted to switch it up a little bit. And then even for the, um, the sketching, I switched it up a little bit by actually mapping out where I want the limbs first before, you know, actually full on drawing it. If you watch any of my other videos, you know, I just full on just try to map it out with like the circles. For this one, I lined it up to try to make sure it was alright or as good as to where I can get it. I was really playing with perspective this time. I really just wanted to get them as much as I could. I'm really actually happy about this drawing because of um, the little time span I had to do it with. I was really busy with schedules and stuff. So I couldn't get the police to do it as much as I wanted to. But overall, I really liked it and I hopefully y'all like it too. So the main thing I struggled with for this character was um, outfit design. As you see, I really tried to get him like a longer, um, I guess, long skirt. Then I just switched to um, shorts and just some bandages around the leg. I often do keep meticulously messing with outfits because I just wanted to see what works better and what overall makes the character more enjoyable to me. And I just thought it just went a lot more with it. In the end, the character does give like some sort of like Aladdin vibes, which I didn't notice until like the very end. I thought like, I was like done with it. Overall, this process was really fun to do, and I really just had fun doing it. So after I get the skin color, I start off with the base coloring for everything. Um, this was pretty fun because I overall just wanted to make everything pretty darker in color. We have like just some things like pop, like the scarf on his neck or the socks and the bandages. It has some things that pop and some things that just blend it in together. So coloring, like I said, base coloring has always been like a really fun thing to do. And I'm starting shading off with the skin, which of course if you watch my channel, I normally start off shading the skin. Or maybe even the hair if I'm feeling a little bit like different. Overall, I just love the shading part and any coloring for a character in general. Like I talked about before, if there was anything I wanted to work on with this character, it would definitely be the positioning of the body and perspective. I'm always seem to be working on that when it comes to every single character or just any single drawing that I'm doing. I always just want to make sure the body is proportionate and the, and the perspective is absolutely perfect. Didn't do so good on here, but you know, practice does make okay or somewhat perfect. It is something I definitely want to keep working on until the absolutely very end. So tell me what you think. Alright, this next one's going to be a little bit different from my normal drawings in the fact that there will be more than just one character on the screen. Um, starting out, I'm starting with like a normal character. Um, they're all witches. I want to get a little bit different to all of them. And just overall expand on what each character is and what they're doing. Now for names, of course, if you don't know, I never name any of my characters full on. I am not a namer so much when it comes to just simply 
just giving the character life. Now for this character right here that I'm sketching out right now, I tried to work with his perspective as much as I could for them, but I only then realized I didn't do perspective for any of the other characters other than that character. So it was a little bit weird and I definitely had to, um, I definitely had to fix it, but I didn't. Um, if that anything was going to fix mainly with this drawing would be that. And then also this character I'm sketching right now, their proportions are messed up, so just a fair warning. Didn't do that good when it comes to proportions for this character at all. I just wish I could go back and fix that, absolutely. But overall, I just want to give them more of a magic vibe, and some people have different ways of showing their magic than others. I didn't want to make it like an all-magic thing. Some people have magic in their hands, some people use a wand. And then some people just have, you know, just other things, maybe in this little world. But I just wanted to show just three characters of this little series I would have in my head or something. So one thing I will say was doing the line art for the huge characters was absolutely so relaxing. I think it was because of how well they connected together and how I can just, one line could absolutely start a new character. I mainly did two on the left for me because she was like basically in front of the middle, one in the middle and how the close they were overall and it was really just relaxing for me. It was calming, I was completely in a quiet space so this felt like bliss it was just super just mind-blowing how much just giving these characters a few darker lines just affected my mood in general Of course, like I said before, one thing I work on is trying to give perspective to all the other characters instead of just one. Another thing I would like to work on is just giving the characters a little bit more pizzazz. Um, for a lot of these characters that I do make, I do notice like a tint of like bland, see? Like, they're kind of like bland compared to other people's art or just things in general. Like, I know you shouldn't compare art, obviously. But like, just want to spice up characters, I would definitely need more advice on that if you'd like to give some. Like, I know people say like accessories or line art or just other things like that. But I mean, if there's any other things you can give me, definitely that would be, of course, appreciated. This piece right here was relaxing, confusing, stressful, um, and like a hint of just amazingness all in one piece of art. It definitely, I did not draw this in one sitting. It took me a while to keep coming back to it and then leaving it and keep coming back to it. I think that's why I gave off so many emotions. But finishing it in the end gave me such ecstasy of just like, thank God that I got it done. And thank God that I like it as much as I did. Of course, there's definitely much to be worked on. But I do like this art. I do like these characters. And overall, I think I just like taking my time with certain art pieces. Alright, this is going to be it for my random drawings video. If you have anything to say, please comment down below. And if you don't see, subscribe. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.